All right. Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Um, I hope you are doing well this Tuesday. Yesterday was a beautiful day, so hopefully you got outside and you got to enjoy some of that beautiful sunshine. I know I spent a lot of time working on the deck. Um, today, what we're going to be doing, since it's Tuesday, is reading. Um, but I wanted to take a little slow down and go back over the race strategy with you guys. I noticed last week on the response questions, um, a few of us have forgotten some of the things that we use with the race strategy. So I just wanted to refresh. You're still going to be using that dolphin article. We're actually going to wrap it up this week. This will be our last week with it. And then on Thursday, you're going to be revising and editing your essays, and I've provided some feedback for you on those. So to recap, race strategy. The R in the race strategy means to restate the question. So what I'm going to do with you guys today is I'm going to get you started on your reading questions. So question one. It says, in the beginning of the article, what problem did... Nika and Bluefields face. Please give at least two details. So to start that question, I'm gonna restate. I know I'm having some trouble with my text box. Give me a second. So if it says, what problem did Nika and Bluefields face? So we would restate the problem Nika and Bluefields excuse me, faced and then you can even go a little further with your restate because we're ask, asking specifically in the beginning. You could restate by saying the problem Nika and Bluefield, Bluefields faced in the beginning was. And then you're going to fill in what the problem is. I'm not going to give you that answer, but you're going to fill it in. Here's my answer. Just using some stars to represent. And then you're going to have to give two details. So the problem Nika and Bluefields faced in the beginning was, you're going to tell me the problem. And then two details, that's where we're going to get that C for that evidence and citing evidence. Because in the text, sorry, I moved my text box up. And then you're going to put detail one. Now, again, I'm not telling you the answer. I'm just showing you how to structure your response. So because in the text, there's your first detail. And then you're going to put your second detail. Okay? So we've restated we've, where you're, go, you're going to answer. And then the evidence piece, you're going to find those two details. Okay? So that's going to be number one, how it's going to look. Again, the stars and the words detail one and detail two will not be in your answer. I'm just showing you where to put stuff. Second question. In this section, an extraordinary bond, what did Jones notice about dolphins in the 1970s? How did this experience affect him? So she wants two-parter here. So we're going to start by restating so the question is, what did Jones notice? So Jones noticed, and then again, I'm going to use stars to represent. You're going to tell me what he noticed about dolphins in the 1970s. Sometimes when you're restating your question, you're going to have part of your restate after you actually answer it, just depending on the type of question it is. So the first half of this question, you're going to tell me what Jones noticed about dolphins in the 1970s. And then the second part, how did this experience affect him? So this experience affected him by. And then again, you're going to put the answer of how it affected him. Okay. Okay. So that one's a two-part race strategy. Let's look at question number three. Question number three says, reread the section six million dead. How did tuna fishing hurt dolphins? How did Jones help solve this problem? So again, we're gonna do that restate. Sorry, clicking all over on my iPad. Uh oh, technical difficulty, sorry guys. All right, so this is a two-part question because there's two questions. So the first part, how did tuna fishing hurt dolphins? So restate that. Tuna fishing hurt dolphins by, 
Again, using these stars, that's where you're going to put your answer. How did it hurt them? So that's the first half. Second half, how did Jones help solve this problem? Jones helped solve this problem by, and then you're going to put how he solved the problem. Again, using those stars, I'm using them to show you where you're going to put your answer. Okay, last one. The article says that being captured for swim with dolphins programs is a threat to wild dolphins. Give two details that explain why these programs are not good for dolphins. So restate. These programs are not good for dolphins because then you're going to give me one reason. And then that one's going to have to be, you're going to tell me the reason. And just like we're doing in our opinion essays, you're going to give me an example of that reason. For example, you're going to tell me more about that reason. And then you'll say, another reason these programs are not good for dolphins is because, and then you're going to give me another reason they're not good, and then just like before, you're going to give me an example of that reason. For example, and then tell me why they're not good. Again, this question is very similar to what you're doing for your opinion piece. You're giving me two reasons they're not good, and you're giving me an example of each of those reasons. So what I've done today, I've modeled for you again that race strategy. You're gonna go back using the article and you're going to find the answers to these questions. Now when I look at your work, I'm gonna be looking. Did you restate the question like we just did together here? Did you answer the question? And if it said to give examples and details, did you include those in your answer? Again, I will be available if you have questions. Feel free to email me, send me a Canvas message, and I hope to see you during our Zoom today at 12 o'clock. Um, we are not playing a Kahoot. I have something else in store, but I look forward to seeing your faces. I hope you and your families are doing well. Take care, guys.